Hey there, welcome to English for Everyone. My name is Lisa. Today we're going to talk about how to avoid some common mistakes. Let's get started. This is not correct. If a building or a neighborhood is run down, what does it mean? It means it's in a very bad condition. It's not correct to say, in a very bad condition. Condition is a special word. We say, in bad condition or in good condition. It means in bad shape or in good shape. It's not correct to say in a good shape. We have to say in good shape or in good condition. In bad shape or in bad condition. So remember these special words, condition and shape. Let's practice. Is the car in good condition? That's right, the car is in good condition. Good job. What about this car? Is it in bad condition? That's right, it's in bad condition. Good job. It's not in bad condition considering it's 11,000 years old. Yes, the car's in great condition. It hasn't been in any accidents. Uh, it was in terrible condition. This car is in great condition. Give me a... It's in bad condition, though. This is also not correct. Some cities and places are full of energy, full of activities. People going left and right and school kids going to the school. It's not correct to say school kids are going to the school. Go to school is a special expression. It's not correct to say go to the school. We have to say go to school. Right now, they are going to school. And we have a few other expressions like this. Go to work, go to school, go to bed, go to court, go to jail, go to prison. So remember these special expressions. It's not correct to say go to the bed. We have to say go to bed. Let's practice. I usually go to bed at 9. What time do you go to bed? Good job. Are they going to school? That's right. They are going to school. What about this guy? Is he going to work? That's right. He is going to work. I go to work every day. Do you go to work every day? Great job. So remember these expressions, go to school, not go to the school. Today we're going to practice some common everyday phrases that I hear my students make mistakes with. They're very common and we're going to talk about the pronunciation, American pronunciation, and the word usage. Normally we say, go to the pronunciation, go to the store, go to the bank, go to the library. But these important phrases, we don't use the. This important phrase is used all the time. If you are a student in school, for children, adults, if you're going to school, college, we say go to school. Pronunciation. D -d. The T is between two vowels, so we pronounce it as a D sound, like a D. Go to, go to. And not OO, like two, but a. Uh. Duh. Go to. Go to school. Go to school. And if you're talking about the place right now, it's 8 o'clock. We need to go to school. Or if you're a student. I'm a student in college. I go to school. And remember, no the. No go to the school. Go to school. Let's practice. Do you go to school? No, I don't go to school. Do your kids go to school? Yeah, they go to school. Does she go to school? Do her kids go to school? Very good. Another important phrase, go to work. And the pronunciation, we use the D for the T between two vowels. D -d 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 -d. Go to, D, go to work. I go to work. And remember, no the, no the work, no my work, no my job. Go to work. I go to work in the morning. I go to work every day. Do you go to work in the morning? Yeah, I go to work in the morning. What time do you go to work? I go to work at 8. Do you go to work in the morning? 
What time do you go to work? Very good. If you are a member of a church, we say you go to church. Or in the moment, right now. It's time. It's nine o'clock. I need to go to church. So, pronunciation. Remember, we use the d, d sound. Go to, go to church. And know the church. I go to the, know the, I go to church. Do they go to church every week? Yeah, they go to church every week. Do they go to church every week? Very good. Example, go to court. Pronunciation with the D, go to, go to court. We don't say the court. No, go to the court. Go to court. If you get a ticket, you can pay the ticket or you can go to court. I don't want to go to court. I don't have time. I'll just pay the ticket. Did you get a ticket? Yeah, I got a ticket. Are you going to go to court? Yeah, I'm going to go to court. Did she get a ticket? Is she going to go to court? Very good. And if you don't pay your ticket and you don't go to court, they will arrest you and you will go to jail. I don't want to go to jail. So remember, pronunciation, go to, go to jail, and no, go to the jail. No, the. Go to jail. Do you want to go to jail? Did you pay your ticket? Yeah, I paid my ticket. Are you going to go to jail? No, I'm not going to go to jail. Did she pay her ticket? Is she going to go to jail? Very good. Another example, prison. Prison is like a big jail for a lot of people. So again, prison. Pronunciation, go to. With prison, no the. No, go to the prison. Only go to prison. A lot of criminals go to prison. A very common phrase, go to bed. You can say go to sleep or go to bed. Remember, bed. No, go to the bed. No the. Pronunciation, go to, da, da, go to bed. I want to go to bed. I'm tired. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 10. What time do you go to bed? Very good. Are you tired? Yeah, I'm tired. Do you want to go to bed? Yeah, I want to go to bed. Is she tired? Does she want to go to bed? Are you tired? Do you want to go to bed? Good night. So remember these two important things. Whenever you say go to, pronounce it go to, go to. And remember these special places. No the. Thank you for watching. And if you want to improve your American pronunciation and avoid common mistakes, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.